Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snails, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today we'll talk about infantile beriberi. This is my biochemistry playlist. Please watch these videos in order. So beriberi is basically vitamin B1 deficiency. Infantile beriberi is special because this kid will have cardiomegaly. So let's enlarge the heart. He will also have tachycardia. So this is high heart rate. And there is edema. We will paint him blue because there will be cyanosis. Green stuff will be coming out of his mouth because he will vomit. As you know, vitamins are organic molecules, micronutrients, they are essential, which means your body cannot make them, therefore you have to eat them in the diet. We have two types, water soluble and fat soluble. We have compared between the two in a previous video, but for now, please do not forget that vitamin B1 is a water soluble vitamin. This means that deficiency is more likely than their fat-soluble counterparts. B1 is thiamine, B2 is riboflavin, B3 is niacin, B5 is pantothenic acid, B6 is pyridoxin, B7 is biotin. How about B4? Doesn't exist. B9 is folate, B12 is cobalamin. The most common cause of vitamin B1 deficiency worldwide is eating white refined rice. But this is not the only cause, as you will discover today. I gave you my clinical nuggets before and I've told you that there are many diseases that happen to you if you have vitamin B1 deficiency, including wernicke korsakoff syndrome, thiamine metabolism dysfunction syndromes, which include thiamine-responsive megaloblastic anemia, and biotin thiamine-responsive basal ganglia disease. The third one is beriberi. We divide them into two. You will have infantile beriberi and adult beriberi. Adult beriberi will include two things, wet beriberi and dry beriberi. Wet means CHF, wet basically means the heart because the heart has blood and like edema, so it's wet. Dry is neuropathy. You can argue that your heart is wet with emotions, but your brain is dry and rational. Philosophy sucks. Or as Einstein said, scientists are poor philosophers maybe poor because of neuropathy i don't know so here is beriberi which means vitamin b1 deficiency is divided into infantile and adult adult is divided into wet and dry there is a synonym for beriberi and it's called kake and i'll tell you why in the next video let's talk about infantile beriberi what's the typical age of presentation about two to three months infants who are breastfed when their mothers are thiamine deficient. So, mommy is not taking vitamin B1. Mommy is breastfeeding the baby, and therefore the breast milk will be lacking B1. Therefore, the baby will develop B1 deficiency called infantile beriberi. Quick note, what does infant mean? Infant is a child in his first year. So, the typical presentation is two to three months, which is within the first year, if you think about it. But if you say, oh, the typical age of presentation, I forgot, maybe between like two to three years, you do not understand the definition of the freaking disease. Get your head out of your sphincter. Okay, medicosis, now I get it. Infantile, two to three months, and it happens when mommy is thiamine deficient, she breastfeed her baby, and now the baby is thiamine deficient, which is called beriberi. Is there any other cause for infantile beriberi? Yes, if the formula that the baby is eating is thiamine deficient. Oh, but the formulas are supposed to be enriched with vitamin B1. Yeah, they are supposed to, but there was a sad story that happened We'll talk about that soon. Symptoms of infantile beriberi include cardiomegaly, the big heart, tachycardia, the high heart rate, cyanosis, as you see here, vomiting, as you see, high-pitched cry, you see this, and there's increased frequency because high pitch is a high frequency. It's called physics, vibrations per second, nystagmus, and seizure. By the way, the CSF is completely normal. If you decided to perform a lumbar puncture to get a sample of the CSF, it's gonna be normal. And see here, this is the seizure. This is like shaking. I do not know how to draw a seizure, forgive me. Treatment, if the baby is thiamine deficient, the treatment is to give thiamine. As early as possible, otherwise, the child can develop intellectual disability, which is irreversible if you are too late but if you catch it early you can reverse it
And here is a very common question in pediatrics. Hey son, do you know what are the causes of reversible intellectual disabilities? Yes, many of them, including infantile beriberi. You want another one? PKU, phenylketonuria. That's a baby who is showing signs of intellectual disability. But if the doctor was smart and diagnosed PKU and give the kid a diet which is low in phenylalanine but high in tyrosine, the doctor can reverse the intellectual disability, one of the most amazing things that you will ever encounter in medicine. I've witnessed that in my home country, Egypt, and it was just emotional. Here is the sad story that happens in 2003 Israel. They discovered a formula that was supposed to be enriched with thymine, but it did not contain thymine. And the mothers did not know that, and it was too late, and nobody could diagnose it because the doctor says, Oh, okay. Hey, mommy, what's the baby? Is the baby like being breastfed by you, and you are thymine deficient? No, doctor, I do not breastfeed him. I give him this formula. And if you read the label, it says B1, but it didn't contain B1. The kids developed cardiomegaly, tachycardia, cyanosis, vomiting, high pitched cry, nystagmus, and seizure. The CSF was completely normal. Many children unfortunately developed intellectual disability and chronic epilepsy. It was too late. Some of them developed irreversible symptoms. Now, I want you to pause for a minute and try to recall all of the symptoms of infantile beriberi as well as the causes and treatment. Please pause. Welcome back. I drew a yarmulke just to remember the tragedy that happened in Israel, but do not ruin it. Do not say, oh, infantile beriberi is like Tay-Sachs disease. It's more common in the Ashkenazi Jewish population. No, it's not. So here is infantile beriberi in just a beautiful slide. You will not find this anywhere else. There is high pitched cry, there is vomiting, there is cardiomegaly and tachycardia, nystagmus, seizure, cyanosis and edema. If you decided, oh, oh, there's, there's seizure, there's nystagmus, maybe there's something in the brain. Let me get a sample of the CSF through lumbar puncture. And it's going to be completely, completely normal. Now, this was infantile beriberi. Adult beriberi is subdivided into dry and wet. What does that even mean? It means that you can get 60% discount towards my antibiotics course. Go to medicosisperfectionalis.com, use the promo code antibiotic60. Thank you very much. In the next video, we'll talk about adult beriberi, the wet and dry. Please subscribe, hit the bell to get notified, and click on the join button to join the tribe. Follow me on all of these platforms. You can support my channel on Patreon or PayPal. Here is my website. Here is my email address. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.